Introduction Tanu waters the plants in her garden every day. She knows that if she does not do so, they will wilt and ultimately die. But she is curious to know how the water that she supplies to the roots reaches the leaves of the plants. In this lesson, we will discuss the process of transportation of water, nutrients and food in the plants. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Understand the importance of roots Understand the role of xylem Define photosynthesis Understand the role of phloem Define transpiration Vibha wants to remove some weeds in her garden. She tries to pull them out but fails. She finds them firmly fixed to the ground. She asks her gardener to help. He manages to pull them out with some effort. He points to some fibers at the lower end of the weeds which held the weeds to the soil. These fibers are known as roots. All plants have roots. Roots play a crucial role in providing water and nutrients to the other parts of the plant body. Roots have hairs. Roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil through these hairs. The more the root has, the greater the absorption. A network of tube-like vessels runs through the entire body of a plant. This system of vessels is known as xylem. These vessels are made of special cells. They act as channels that connect the roots to the leaves through the stem and the branches. Xylem transports water and dissolved nutrients absorbed from soil to the different parts of the plant through this network of vessels. Rhea is eating her breakfast in a hurry. Her mother advises her to chew the food properly so that the nutrients are absorbed by the body. Human beings and animals have a circulatory system that transports the nutrients absorbed from food to the different parts of the body. Plants have phloem to perform this task. Phloem is a tissue that is located on the outer layer of the stem. It transports the sugar prepared by the leaves during photosynthesis to the rest of the plant body. Since it transports sugar, phloem is rich in a sticky fluid called sap which contains the dissolved sugars. Just as human beings need food to survive, plants also require food to live. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants manufacture food. The word photosynthesis is derived from two words, photo which means light and synthesis which means preparation. Thus the word photosynthesis means producing with the help of light. In this process plant leaves use the light from the sun to synthesize food from carbon dioxide and water. Sugar and oxygen are the end products of photosynthesis. It is time to check what you have learned. Drag and drop the correct options in their respective boxes. An important function of the leaf is to keep the plant cool in summers. This is accomplished through transpiration. Transpiration is the process by which water vapor evaporates from the leaves and stems of a plant into the atmosphere. Small pores called the stomata on the underside of the leaves facilitate transpiration. Let us check your understanding. Match the options in column A with the correct options in column B. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil through root hairs. The more the root hairs, the greater the absorption. Xylem is a system of vessels that transport water and dissolved nutrients from soil to the entire plant body. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants manufacture food. Plant leaves use the light from the sun to synthesize food from carbon dioxide and water. 
Sugar and oxygen are the end products of photosynthesis. Phloem transports the sugar prepared by the leaves during photosynthesis to the rest of the plant body. Phloem is rich in a sticky fluid called sap which contains the dissolved sugars. Transpiration is the process by which water vapor evaporates from the leaves and stems of a plant into the atmosphere.